Welcome back to the shop. This is episode two of a two-part series in crafting custom radiator covers. If you missed the first episode, click the link at the top right-hand corner. In episode one, we went through the steps of milling the lumber and crafting our three radiator covers. In this episode, we're going to go through the steps of installing the decorative metal screening, the foil back insulation, and show you the final photos of it installed in the customer's home. We're now at the stage of the project for the radiator covers. We're actually going to cut the screens for the inserts. The first set of screens we're going to cut are for the 48 inch radiator cover. Using my plans and my cut sheet diagrams, what I've done is laid out what the dimensions are for the front panels. So laid out with masking tape, draw a pencil line down, and then use a pair of sharp shears, go through and cut along our line. As I'm getting ready to cut these screens, again, I go back to my cut sheet diagram on all material. So I laid out all the screen cuts so that I would know and maximize all the pieces out of the screen itself, so minimize the waste. So I've got my measurements here, eight and a half by 18 and a quarter for the side panels. But that was the rough measurements there. Now what I'm gonna do is actually go to the actual piece, verify that eight and a half is correct. So the inside spacing here is seven inches. I wanna add three quarters of an inch overlap on either side, so that gives me eight and a half. This measurement is 16 and 3 quarters. So again, I want to have the overlap on either side. So that gives me the measurement that we're going to need of 18 and a quarter. So I've mapped out on my screen for the outside edge of the first 18 and a, eight and a half. I've mapped out to the bottom to the 18 and a quarter. And now what I'm going to do is just use my masking tape. It's one inch wide, it'll get me pretty close wherever I need it to be. All right, we'll then follow the exact same process as we did in cutting the screening material. If you look closely at the cardboard, you can actually see some dark lines that are through here. And that's actually the oil that is on the screen when I took them out of the package. So what I'm doing, just to get that off, I'm using a paper towel with some denatured alcohol. I'm just wiping it down to get that oil residue off before we actually do the installation into the radiator cabinet. And you can actually see the dirty residue that I've taken off the screen. So this is the 48 inch radiator cover. It has received two coats of finish, so primed first on the inside and out, and has received two coats of finish on the body. What we're now going to do is lay our screens in. And we're going to start with the face frame. So as we lay that in, let's see if I can bring the camera a little bit closer for you. You can see that we have aligned a three quarter inch overlap on all sides. And one of the things that I like to do is always double check my measurements, first off. But second off is as I align the two screens, I want the pattern to line up across the first and the second screen. 
what we'll do is we will then temporarily fasten these in place. And then what I've done is I've cut up quarter inch strips that will then lay across the screen to hold it in place. So you won't get a lot of bounce throughout the whole thing. It'll still get a nice tight fit across the entire screen cover. My first step in fastening the screen is I've gotten it aligned exactly where I want it, equidistant overlap. And then what I will do is I just use a staple gun to tack it in place. with some wooden strips that will span the entire length to hold these nice and tight in place. Now with that held in place, I'm gonna come in with my strips. They've been measured and cut to the interior length and then lining it up with the dots that are here I'm going to use quarter inch crown staples to fasten this strip in place adjust it as I need to as I go through for alignment. We repeated these steps for all three of the radiator covers, installing the quarter inch strips behind all the decorative screening. That way we know that it's held in place. And just a quick review, we temporarily tacked them in place with some staples, and then go back with the quarter inch molding and hold them in place with quarter inch crown staples. With all three radiator covers complete, we're going to now move on to the next phase of the project, which is, is going to be to install the foil back insulation. One of the unique features of the radiator covers that we build is that we install a foil back insulation into the back of the radiator cover between the radiator and the wall. We use a foil back insulation. That way, as the heat comes up through the radiator, it radiates back into the room through the radiator cover rather than heating up the exterior wall or sending heat out the window. So this step of the process, we're gonna go through, we're gonna install the foil back insulation into the back of the radiator covers. And as we do that, we've cut them so that they overlap the openings in the back of the radiator covers by an initial three quarters of an inch on either side. So we can slide them in and fasten them in place. So I've cut these to size. I've actually marked the edges so that I can cut off three quarters of an inch and then I'll run a razor down through this edge in order to cut that back to a quarter of an inch so it overlaps so that my interior measurement will be 15 and a quarter inches. Now, styrofoam is very, very crumbly. So in order to prevent that from crumbling anymore, we're gonna use a heat gun. And I said it's a moderate heat, probably around 650, 700 degrees. And the intent here is just to simply melt the edge of the styrofoam so it doesn't crumble anymore. And it's just a quick pass and she melts right back into place. So this panel goes in this back side. So I trimmed off an edge here, here, and here. I've got an overlap, an overlap, and an overlap. This side doesn't overlap, but that's okay because we have the slats inside, so it won't move. And what we'll also do is once we have all three of these panels completed, 
we will staple them in place so that they don't fall. That's a good solid fit. Within the back of the cover. Very few air gaps because the foil's there. And then just to give you a look from the other side. You can see the foil back installed so that the heat from the radiator will now radiate back out into the room rather than up the walls or out the windows. With all three insulation panels in place, we'll now fasten them. We're just using simple staples. And again, the purpose behind this foil back insulation is to reflect the heat that would normally go up the wall and out the window or heat your exterior wall to redirect this convection heat back into the room through the radiator covers. Here are some quick shots after the installation of the 60 inch radiator cover, the hallway radiator cover, and finally the 48 inch radiator cover. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them below and please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.